Hello, boys and girls. Today is the 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and here we are at St. Gabriel's Catholic Church in Charlotte. Boys and girls, today, time and time again, Jesus shows us that when our faith and belief in him are strong, then anything is possible, even walking on water. Don't know if you should try that. But if our faith is strong, and you know that's interesting, last week in our treasure box, do you remember our treasure box? I guess it was two weeks ago. Faith. That's the word. One of the first words we found in our treasure box was faith. So we have to have faith. And today, in our gospel, we're going to learn about Peter and his faith. So before we begin, let's start with an opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, give us the courage and faith of Peter, whose belief was so strong that he could walk towards Jesus on the water right across the lake. But in times of weakness, like Peter had, reach out your hand to us, Jesus, and rescue us from our doubts. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Boys and girls, I don't know if you can hear this, but I'm sitting outside in my backyard, and I hear birds all around me. So to have faith, we know it's there, but sometimes we forget. But listen, Jesus is everywhere, just like in those birds. So guess what? Today, let's read the gospel about Peter. I think you've heard this gospel before, and it's an easy one to remember because it's so exciting. So this gospel is according to Matthew. It's a great story, so get ready. I think about you, I speak about you, and I keep you in my heart. Before going up to the hills to pray alone, Jesus told his disciples to sail out to the other side of the lake. As night fell, fell, the wind grew stronger and the disciples' boat was tossed all over by the waves. Suddenly, while they were in the boat, they saw someone coming towards the boat walking on the water. And they were terrified because they thought it was a ghost. But Jesus called to them, hey, don't be afraid. It's me. Peter shouted to Jesus, Lord, if that's really you, Tell me to come across the water to you. Hmm. So Jesus said, come. Peter climbed out of the boat and he lowered himself onto the water, looking straight at Jesus. And he didn't take his eyes off of him. He began to walk towards him. But as he moved further from the boat, and all of a sudden the wind was blowing, he grew afraid. He took his eyes off of Jesus and suddenly he began to sink and he cried out, save me, Jesus. As Jesus reached out his hand and pulled Peter to safety, he said, why did you not trust me, Peter? Is your belief so weak? When they got back to the boat, the other disciples knelt before Jesus and said, wow, you are truly the son of God the gospel of the Lord, and you say, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now, boys and girls, powerful word, faith. It needs to be hard as a rock, faith. You have to think about it all the time, but faith is not magic. Magic things don't happen because of faith. God guides us and he teaches us to follow along. Now, Peter had so much faith, so much, but then he gave up his faith. So boys and girls, we have to practice. And if we ask God every single day, good morning, God, good morning, Jesus, help me with my faith today. Help me listen, listen, listen every day and pay attention to all that I can do. Now let's go back to God's kingdom. This, this box is so important. Let's grab our words out of this box. 
to keep our faith, remember our words, honesty, generosity, kindness, truthfulness, sharing, loving, and forgiveness. And boys and girls, we will have faith if we follow all of those things and live in Jesus's path. Now, I have two homework assignments for you to keep our focus. I want you to try a yoga pose. I know lots of you have done some yoga and all I want to see if you can do is when you hold your hands in front of you and you stand on one foot, put the other foot against your leg and try to stand. First time I did it, I could stand for three seconds. And then I found that I could stand longer and longer and longer. But I had to have focus and I had to think about my faith. Stare at something just as Peter stared at Jesus. But then when he stopped staring, he lost his faith to go all the way. So see every day if you can stand longer and longer and longer by thinking about Jesus. The other thing I want you to do is get out your prayer journal, all right? With that prayer journal, I want you to write, to write some fears. Write some fears that you have. Write them in the journal and think about them. Share them with someone like mom or dad or an older brother and sister. These are my fears and I want to have the faith to overcome them. Now, one of my fears is cooking something new for my family because I think, oh, what if they won't like it? And I worry and I don't have the faith that they'll all eat it. So I'm gonna write that in my prayer journal this week and I'm going to try to cook something new and I'm gonna have the faith that they'll try it and that it'll turn out really well. So you think of some things that you're fearful of. Maybe it's riding your bike and not falling down. Maybe, maybe it's going to bed all by yourself, walking up those stairs and getting in your bed and maybe reading your own book to yourself. Maybe you're fearful. You don't need to be. So you write into a prayer journal. You think about everything you can and have a great week and keep your faith. Have a good day. Bye, boys and girls.